What's cracking, Hope Nation? It's Kevin Hines, and I want to tune you into something that's really amazing. We've been doing these Ask Kevs for quite some time now, but now we're adding a clinical perspective to the end of every Ask Kev video by none other than the great Dr. April Foreman, our clinical specialist. It's going to be fantastic, energetic, entertaining, and she is going to break down the video I do in her clinical way, in the way only she knows how. So please enjoy it, watch, listen, learn, and glean everything you can from Dr. Foreman at the end of this very important Ask Kev video made for you. Frankly, no. Uh, I, I have had an ex a, a, and this is, this is part of the reason I'm still here today, a great part of the reason. Uh, I've had a strong faith my entire life. I've had a strong family my entire life and strong friendships my entire life. Uh, yes, I, I siloed myself certain times. I, I certainly, um, I certainly, uh, I may have siloed myself with my family and friends, but I never let those relationships fall to the wayside, and I did not dissociate as much as I lived inside my head in the pain. And the best part about my, I, I call the reasons that I, that I survive every time the three Fs, faith, family, and friends. Because each and every time after that third side board stay, I was done with that separating myself from others. I took the warmth and love and care I was being given by, my, by my, my caring family and friends, and I utilized it to survive. Um, I called the people I needed to call. I reached out to those I needed to reach out to, and luckily I always remained here. Uh, you know, it, it, um, so but many of I let them in, yes. As a matter of fact, matter of fact after that third psych work say, that, that's what I did. I, I built a treatment plan that's free and on my website, and it's my, a resource guide, a 10-step guide to what I call the art of wellness. It, it, it's, it's something that I have shared in video format and in, in a PowerPoint format that is uh, trainable. These are common sense tools to better your brain health for individuals. It's not one size fits all, but um, people from as far as Peru, Africa, China, and Japan, and of course America, have written to me in both the video format and the written format that this 10-step guide, which includes a mental health emergency plan at the end, helps save their life. And if you would like to, to check it out, it's very simple, kevinhindstory.com slash resources. And it is there for everyone to utilize. It is free, it is downloadable. Next to that is uh, a, a parents and teachers and clinicians guide to, to uh, suicide prevention. That is co-authored by my wife, Margaret. Um, and some of the best suicide prevention activists of our time. Uh, and the, the Art of Wellness is co-authored by one of the best suicidologists of our time. Um, uh, and, and both of them are available for anyone to take and to utilize and to be trained with. Uh, and they're also peer-to-peer uh, -peer trainable. So please, please take them, they're, they're yours. And people are saying that they're dramatically changing their efforts in their lives. That certainly the art of wellness within six to nine months of, of, of using them. Um, you know, this is coming from a guy who's not a clinician, who worked with clinicians uh, and my wife to, to build uh, resiliency tool kits and factors that can help people like me stay. And there's no reason we shouldn't all be using things like this, not necessarily mine, uh, but, but you know, uh, I know that every letter I receive over the last, or have received over the last, you know, 10 of the 19 years I've been involved in the field has been a positive one saying how it's positively and, and powerfully affected these lives. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, I'm just, I'm asking you to not just look inside your purview of psychology, but look to me for resources and people like me, uh, because lived experience, it, you know, I, I, I I love Mitch's talk this morning. He's a phenomenal uh, 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 doctor in the field. He is uh, one of the rarest of his kind, but he said that the field is the answer. I'm sorry, but I disagree. 
People like me are the answer because we are the ones living it. We are the ones whose minds are shattered and we need to be studied so you can find a way to, to save us. Um, I, my friend, let me, let me restate that. We're both right. We're both right. It needs to be a duality. It needs to be a connection and a, and a cooperative effort so that we can have the best effect on the most amount of lives. Uh, you know, it's not about us or them. It is a we. And if we don't make it a we, we will not stop this raging suicide that's crossing our globe. Uh, one of the things I refer to when people ask me this question all the time is, are the caring letters by Jerry Motto. The caring letters by Jerry Motto, you can just Google this and you will find a plethora of information on these letters that were written in psych wards for individuals who were dealing with different diagnoses. Um, and there's going to be a big uh, CBS story coming out on them soon uh, that, that uh, I'm a part of. But uh, Jerry Motto designed these letters for people who were unreachable. Imagine. Imagine a place where four to five letters are written by people who love them. In those letters, basically, in a nutshell, they're comprised of five things. Compassion, unconditional love, a total lack of judgment, complete empathy, and all of the things each individual who loves them is worried about, as in the symptoms, the signs, and the triggers. Those five things, in one letter, multiplied by four or five different letters said in different ways, but it's the same message. And if the individual can't read at the time, you record the letters into, in, into a device. If you can't, if they, if they are not willing to listen, you record it into your iPhone and make a video. They can be taken in multiple different forms. This is a, a really a, a growing of his original idea. Uh, but what I find is that those of us who are at, the, at that period of time cannot be reached are actually quite reachable. But all we hear is what we must do, what we have to do, what we need to do. Because in one ear and out the other, it's just talk to us. But when someone breaks down how much they love you, why they love you, uh, how much empathy they have for your situation, how much they do not judge your behavior or actions because they know it comes from a place of pain. And then they talk about all the things to worry about and five people say the same thing. You somehow are awakened in the sense like, this isn't just one person in my family, this is, this is the whole lot. And they're saying the same thing. Maybe I do need help. One of the things I find uh, most helpful that I, that I did not create, it was, it was something that really helped me stay uh, on a regular basis, uh, was the idea that we're all going to die. We're human beings. That is our nature, that's our, that's what we, we live and we die. We just need to give ourselves time and hard work for things to change. And I think that when people understood, when people understand that, that if you just give yourselves time and you work tirelessly for your brain health, your physiological health, and your physical health simultaneously, things can and do change. The problem I see with so many people is they say, you just give it time, things will change. How? Right? So we put these that, that toolkit together so people can understand a, a blueprint, at least a, a model of a blueprint that could say, if I do these things, I might just feel better most of the time. Uh, you know, I'm going through a lot of physical challenges right now. I'm living with neurological deficiencies and autoimmune issues. I'm really, I'm really uh, in a great deal of physical pain a lot of the time. Um, but you know, uh, that I can handle. <laughs> you know, so if, if we can express to people who go through similar things and mental health issues, that by putting in the effort, um, it doesn't mean it's going to stave off all of your symptoms. It just means it's going to hopefully give you more time. We, we like to say in our, our group is the song you heard at the end of the film, Be Here Tomorrow. We wrote that for the film, um, and it is, it is uh, a mantra that I've been saying for years, uh, that if I can just get to tomorrow, if I can just get to the next 24 hours, 